Hello, folks. How are we doing today? It sure is the middle of the week, isn't it? I wish I was happier about it, but honestly, I'm living for Friday at this point. Oof. Glad to hear each day is a little better. I'm feeling that exhaustion myself, so I get ya. Yeah, let's be fair. I know I've mentioned that the air quality is hideous in our area recently, but uh, today is exceptional. Today has been, in general, anywhere from the high 200s to... I think the worst I saw was 400 at one point. In terms of air quality, and that is just... Human beings were not meant to live in this, least of all without central air conditioning. The temperatures are lovely, but like you can't open windows, there's no air, it seeps in through every crack in your residence, regardless of whether it's a condo or a house or whatever. It's awful. Yeah, exactly. You know it's bad when you have to consider wearing a like fire protection mask just to go in the front room to get a drink. The fact that my office slash bedroom is on the far back of the condo is the only thing saving me right now. Wherever you are, I hope to god your air is cleaner than ours. That's not going to be a high bar. Friday they insist it's going to start raining and basically not stop, which is normal fall weather for us. I will absolutely take that, especially if it puts out some of these damn fires that are causing me problems. I always say this, but, you know, climate change is political. Definitely no problems here. Alright, well, enough grousing. Let's get to some puzzles, shall we? We've earned it after two hours of prologue last time. I'm so sorry that took so long. Like I said, I... I remember the introduction was quite long, but I did not realize it was two freaking hours worth of it, so... Thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I... Life's complicated, you know? It really is. My favorite advice columnist, uh, a couple of years ago used to uh, have a, a phrase that was, Life is a rich tapestry. I couldn't agree more. Alright. Does we recall last time we picked door four? I hope you guys picked right. I mean, as I told you last time, there's no such thing as picking perfectly right, because even if you get it perfectly right, you won't get to see the true ending the first time through. So there's that. Even if you did pick right, it might not look like it. There's nothing to worry about. Nope. Nothing to worry about, Jinpei. And we're not going in the room with the corpse, it's fine. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. Alright. Because, okay, we didn't make her go and look at the corpse, but now we just get to hang out with her in private. Well... Sort of private. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace to... and the others are going. Looks like we have to do the love route after all. Uh. Now then. Yep. I mean, let's be honest, they want us to be asking questions about this, uh, star-crossed romance, so... Can't totally get away from it. Goodbye. Dude, don't make it sound so final! Be careful. Ooh. Yo, 
Yeah, we didn't even see that again. We picked the other door. So horrible. Why are we letting the young girl in here? I still have objections. What are you doing? We need to hurry. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> it was nice of those veins, my dude. I realize you can't see it, but... Snake, your shoes! It's fine. Hurry! Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? Oof. I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? I mean, good point, but... Sorry, Snake! Let's go! Hey! How is it over there? I mean, there's a disgusting corpse. Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. I don't know. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Oh boy. Here we go. Do you think they're okay? Man, I hope you guys picked right. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! That's not usually how I would refer to a corpse, but okay. Oh wait, no, they explained this last time. Never mind. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. The beeping stopped. Whew. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. See, if you guys were streamers, you'd know how to talk through stuff as you do it. It's a skill, trust me. I've been working on it. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? Okay? This line out of context. The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. Okay. You know how the red was red? Yes, Clover. Well, the dead is blue. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Other than that, it's just like the red. Okay. The dead is red, but blue. Authenticating is the same, too. Got it. Awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot! Does it, Junpei? Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that! Whew. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay. We ready? Okay, I'm sure someone was gonna bail. Yeah. Sure. Let's go! Alright, let's go. That's what I said. Run! Oh, damn. Shit. It's counting down. We can't go back! Yeah? Why would you want to? We need to hurry and find the device! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? Dude, it's a one-way hallway. Come on, Santa. How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. This isn't a point-and-click adventure. Just go to the end of the hallway. Oh, wait, there's rooms. That's a little worse. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count! We just need to open them all! 
It won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh! There it is! At the end of the hallway. Run! Maybe you should have tried that first. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! Thanks, June. I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! <laughs> Keep wasting time talking and you'll find out. It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Ah, it is blue. What do you know? Insert inappropriate noise this time. I'm sure that has never been taken out of context. Uh, it looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one first. Now he tries this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. Yeah. What's this mark? It mail? Well, stick it in, Junpei. Hope it fits. No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Oh, uh, my bad. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun. Saturn. Yes, thank you for this flashback. And Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? <laughs> 30 minutes ago-ish. And, you know, 24 hours. I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Uh-oh. Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Okay. That was actually smart of you. One person wastes time instead of all of us. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. What about the room number? The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. Thanks, Junpei. We can read. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Wow, that's first. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. I don't know. If you sign up for it, it's okay. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. Okay. All right. Okay. Divide and conquer. All right. Finally, another freaking puzzle room. Let's go. Wait, room 92. Is it B92? This is relevant information, okay? Alright. What 
the hell is all this? Is now really the time? Uh, June? Yeah, I can see that. But, what is this? Mm, something like that. It is nice. <laughs> what? Can I see that again? your head <laughs> yeah that yes thank you after that I'm not sure I want to anyone else see what she's talking about because I sure as fuck don't Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see something kind of vaguely dragonish. Like, if this is the snout, and these are the wings. It has a tail. I don't know what the hell this is. It's complicated. Okay, okay. Oh. I see. Okay. <laughs> eh. What? Eh. That shower tile? Who on earth would install this? Drag on self foot pole with a horse. Yes. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. Thank you. Can we talk about how ugly it is? No. No, I can't. Alright. You used a shower? Once? Oh boy. This is getting worse by the minute. Zero used all the water. Okay, there's nothing. No, oh, toilet, that always helps. Again, zero used all the water. Thank you for being really, really explicit about that roll of toilet paper. I need to know exactly how depleted it was. I already checked that. Yeah. Okay, so it hasn't been water here for a while. I failed to see how any of that helps us. Oh. What? Oh, I opened it. Apparently I have to open it when I turn away from it. That's interesting. Yeah, that's not appropriate. <laughs> you know what's bad when Jinbei's embarrassed? I'm abandoning you. Uh. <laughs> Maybe don't just say that, my dude. Oh boy. 
Fine. Yeah, that's a nice room. Scrap in the shower with Jude and he's busy being like, I think I'm gonna go to Lotus's room. Looking at the couch? Okay, okay. Why are you yelling at me about this? Clearly. I want to sit on the sofa. <laughs> oh, come on. Every couple should have some differences. Matches. Okay. Jinpei. Oh, that's June. Okay, for once it's not Jinpei being stupid. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? I know. Yes, I'm fine. Fevers don't usually come on that quickly, or go away that quickly. Let me see your forehead. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? No, I just touched random people's foreheads. It's a personality quirk. Mm. What are we thinking? Do you want to shut her down hard? Or should we play along? If you poisoned her, it's got to be contact because we haven't seen her eat or drink anything. It's not airborne, because otherwise we would all have gotten it. Yeah, good point. Well, historically... Yeah, yeah. I'll say, we all see which one I've already picked. Maybe we should break it up a little. Sorry, June. Hey, uh, come on. It's, it, it's not like that. <laughs> I guess you haven't changed at all, Jumpy. By the way, Jumpy... I don't think she believed us. Hmm? How did you end up here? Uh-oh. What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. Maybe we are, who knows. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. Mm-hmm. What, you think I'm a drug addict? When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Yeah. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Plot mandated romance. What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? Uh oh. Wait, right, unreliable narrator on top of everything else? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, the whole thing is suspicious. What part isn't suspicious? I mean,. Why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Valid. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Maybe you should have, Jim. Hey. Are you hiding something? Oh. Maybe this is the no romance route. What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? Killer logic. Junpei for the next Phoenix Wright game. You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? What does that have to do with anything?! <laughs> I 
Do you want to know? No! It's none of my business! <sighs> Don't worry. Only 18. You mean 9? Yeah. <sighs> Time zero. <laughs> Math joke. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I see. <laughs> Jinpei, if you need to cry, you can go outside in the hallway, it's okay. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Spoken like someone who's definitely hiding something. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. Does she? I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't uh, seen uh. each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Uh. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Do we? Yeah, I do. Okay. So? Just checking. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that line too. He said something about perps before, but... Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. Reasonable. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... <laughs> then why well, bring it up? If it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? They don't pay teachers or principals enough to pull this off. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. See previous comment. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. With that out of the way... Giant display case with nothing. Okay. Weird, they'd bother to model that then. What's this? Ah. This is definitely where I need to be right now. Wait, what was that argument I was making before? I mean, the ship's gonna sink in a few hours anyway, you might as well. Get out of the way, reduce the tension, be able to actually focus on what we're trying to accomplish. Nah. This was a thing. Oh, okay. I guess that's to help if you get lost. <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. Sorry, I didn't do that. They made me put it away. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really... retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. So it's an old cruise ship? Do you remember what Zero said? Yeah. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? That's a hell of a reach. Hmm, that's a good point. Jinpei, stop trying to show off. 
I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. I mean, true? Hmm. So what, you're telling me this is the Titanic? Do you think this boat is... <laughs> oh boy. And that stairwell did look an awful lot like the movie. The actual Titanic? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The actual Titanic? <laughs> the actual Titanic? Uh-oh. Yep, exactly. You mean it, like, slipped through time and ended up here? Yes, exactly. Time travel exists. Before the ship sunk on April 14th, 1912? Absolutely. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> huh? What the hell are you smoking? Well, you're smoking. You're the one that brought that idiot idea up. Huh? Did I get it wrong? No, no, that's not... I mean, come on. I mean, slipped through time? Seriously? You're the one that thinks this is the actual Titanic. I was talking about the controversy surrounding the Titanic. You were not. Controversy? What do you mean? Haven't you heard of it? It's pretty famous, you know. The Titanic had a sister ship that was essentially identical. Uh. It was called the Olympic. Okay. Oh, yes, I have heard of that. I think I heard it was troubled by a lot of problems. And the company that owned it didn't know what to do with it, right? So they made the Olympic up to look just like the brand new Titanic. Okay, interesting hobby. That's right. They also took out a huge insurance policy on it before it set sail. Hmm. Huh, that would mean that the real Titanic never sank. So we're back to thinking this is the real Titanic, then. Yeah, the ships got swapped. The real Titanic was renamed the Olympic in secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> they used it as a passenger ship for more than 20 years. Hey, wait a minute. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. No. Wouldn't that mean it retired in 1935? Huh? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I guess. Sometime around then, yeah. Well, look around you. This looks pretty 1930s. Well, what happened to it after that? I heard it was dismantled. Dismantled? Then it doesn't matter, does it? Whichever boat the real Titanic was, it doesn't exist anymore. Sure, it doesn't. It was either retired and dismantled, or sunk in the Atlantic by the curse. The what? But then that would mean that this ship is... Can we talk about the curse? Wait, w what did you just say? <laughs> huh? Don't harm me! Sank in the Atlantic because of what? The curse. What do you mean, a, a curse? A curse is a curse. Why do I bother? This one is the curse of the Egyptian mummy. On a ship. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. Eh. Okay, I don't know that. Which was stolen from a pyramid. That would be a pretty bad curse. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Yeah. There's a lot of discussion of Egyptian curses. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? In chain letters. 
So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! The amount of insanity in this room right now is staggering. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. Says the guy who insisted this is the real Titanic! It's true! <laughs> They're both dumber than a box of rocks? How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy! It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable! What is so unbelievable about it? You know, the others might survive if we just lock these two in a room and let everyone else try to escape. Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Does this have anything to do with anything? Pretty? Yes. But it, she was a mummy. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> she wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Okay. That's a little creepy. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? Ew. The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And Can we not discuss this, Junpei? Yes, saponification, but that's not what it was. Why do you know this? Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. So, cryosleep? What? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Again, how do you know this? What did you major in in college? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. I'm pretty sure we can easily demonstrate that that's false. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Okay, so when we get out of here, we're taking a trip to the desert, and we're gonna test this. W well yeah, um... Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? I mean, I've never heard of it, but... No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Well, if there's an oasis around... Hmm. Maybe it already melted. Yeah, we're done. Back to puzzles. Okay. <laughs> we? Uh... Like you're not. <clears throat> yep, we're very done. Oh no. Not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> Not helping! Ugh. 
<laughs> yep. This one is definitely the filthy gremlin archetype. Say anything, but pretend like you never said anything. Nothing exciting? What were you expecting? Right. Speaking of, hydrate break! Ow, oh, fuck. Alright, give me two seconds to grab a drink. This can of sparkling water I got from the fridge is like fucked up on top. There's no opening this. I'll be right back. I'm not gonna bother putting the RB up. It'll just take a second. Okay, now it's time for a hydrate break. Thank you, Soggy. Much appreciated. Done. It's not a water bottle, but it's close. Did you say that out loud, my dude? But I'm not drinking now. You are not. Well, are we ever going to get off the ship? There comes inside, surprising no one. Douglas Adams, is that you? Ugh. That just happened. Let's get out of here. Oh, right, we have the other side of the room. chair from this angle. Right? It's good to see, I guess. She still has to pretend like it, but... We can stand here and wait, Jinbei. Well, that went well. These two are doomed. Aha! Dresser key. Oh, your key. Alright, guess I can't close it. Oh, there we go. Much. I think that's it. We haven't encountered anything locked. Maybe now we can go over to the other side? Okay, 
Okay, it's different at least. Wait, we're leaving her in here by herself? Regardless of whether you trust her or not, this is stupid. Oh, uh, I guess we're in the other room now. Which looks a lot like the other room. Wait, I did switch rooms, right? I'm not in. Okay, cool. Just checking. Oh, hi, Santa. Probably. It's usually how these things go. Glued. Weird. Okay. I think I see where this is going. Can I sit on this couch? I'm oh, sure you sit on it. Am I examining everything? What? Santa? Okay, can't explain that one. Are we doing it this time? We didn't do it last time. Oof, thank you, Santa. Oh, hey, we have matches. Ooh. Welcome back to that. Okay. Yeah. Apparently my would-be girlfriend is a, uh... Is perfectly willing to steal random expensive shit, so... I better get used to this. This is my life now. One of these things is not like the other. What, do I have to open it? Oh, it's locked. I get it. Lucky for you. Now. Right. Someone thought this through. Never mind. Okay, what's in here? What? Uh, oh, oh, is this the part where I get eaten by a crew? Does anyone even get that joke anymore? Some light, you say? Okay, well, first, first. We didn't check this on this side yet. Then we'll go check the light. Another shower. Oh, hi, Lotus. Why does everyone follow me in here? This is a tiny bathroom. Is 
someone definitely has some interesting aesthetic to block. Are you serious? <laughs> apparently all three of us. Also, apparently Santa does not know what a shower head is. Which makes him one step worse than Junpei, who has at least taken confirmed one shower. Okay. This is about as useless as the other one. Okay, still no water. Alright, that's it. Which is fine because there's no actual running water. Alright, well, looks like it's candle time. Oh, right, the curtain. I forgot all about that. Thank you. about that. Hmm. You know something, man? Weird. Yeah, try and check the light, but okay. Spoilers. Did you try holding it from the bottom? Probably not. It's probably holding it from the fire. Nice. Good lighting. Okay. Right? Might have been too suggestive. Aha! Wait. There we go. I did say it was a presser key. Oh, hey, it's another piece of an elephant, or a dragon, or something. It doesn't? Sure does to me. I was just testing you. Mm, nope. Uh, okay, 
that's creepy. Is it? Right. Hmm. So there's a shower curtain in the other room, but not in this one. That must mean something. Okay. Oh boy, here we go again. Santa? <laughs> oh boy. Are you really that surprised? Anyway, that was weird. What is with these people? <laughs> well, we found our missing curtain. Yes, yes, I figured that out. So, it's a normal shower curtain. Hello? No. What? A girl with burning red eyes stares back at me, fuck! God damn it, Junpei! Alright, that's what I get for clicking through things too fast. I don't know. I don't think anybody did. I don't know. Yeah. Was that an objective? So I'm gonna go check the truck. Yeah, that sure looks blown out. Perfect. Didn't even need that candle. Oh, what? Okay, that's funky. Speaking of things I don't think anybody expected. I've seen a lot of things turned into a key, but not that before. Wait, you did? Alright, the cabinet. Aha! By the way, just so you all know, I uh, had to spend a ridiculous amount of time finding a screenshot that did not contain any of Santa's swearing from my thumbnail for last night's stream. It was glorious. The three suggestions Twitch had for me for that stream was uh, the like starting soon screen, Santa saying bitch, and Santa saying fuck. So, you know, I can't use those. For some reason, Twitch thinks that's the most important part of this game. Might not be wrong. Okay. I'm gonna have to connect these. Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? Uh oh. What crazy occult theory do we gotta hear about now? Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? 
what is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? Uh, no. I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Oh, is that what you were doing with the sofa? Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? Uh, why are we suddenly getting creepy music? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Okay. Sorry, I asked. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but... Tell us how you really feel, man. What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? Yeah. And that meaning is pretty much those four words. Huh, I did not know that. I should have, because I played this game before, but I forgot. It's like, uh, flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, <clears throat> leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Okay. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. Hmm, maybe we should ask Clover about this? So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. So you get visceral reactions to anything involving hope, faith, love, and luck. Okay, good to know for the future. Take the damn thing, all right? Oh, you're not kidding around. Here. No kidding. Jesus. What is this guy's story? Oh boy. Could force him to keep it. Honestly, he's probably just gonna throw it in the trash if we don't take it. Aside from int intentionally being an asshole, I don't see a need to not take it. Yeah, yeah, very true. So here's a question. If we had gone into room 5, could Clover have come in here and gotten that herself? I forget if the numbers work out for that. Because if so, we've already failed. Or as a proper game protagonist, maybe we're meant to give it to Clover, in which case we need to take it. I think I'm gonna take it. And yeah, you can clip that, because I said it. I don't know, I'm just speculating. I mean, I know what it's gonna do, but... My viewers don't necessarily. All right, sure, I'll take it. Oh man, I feel a lot better now. Okay, so either you're really faking or you're really serious. That thing was a real pain, you know. That's a, that's a bookmark, man. Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Not wrong there. Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. Okay. 
I just can't bring myself to like the number four. Uh-oh. I was gonna say, I uh, sense some drama here. What? Worried about the four horsemen? <laughs> nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Says the guy who can't hold a bookmark. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. Then why do you hate four so much? Because it's a half ass number. Okay. I'm gonna need you to elaborate. Not the best or the worst. That's why. What's the best? You. what? <laughs> Nine is a way better number. Uh. okay. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame ass middle number. Okay. You're just a min max kind of guy, aren't you? What are you. You play? Play. Play. Oh god, I sound like a protagonist. Kill me. Uh, uh, well, we were stupid earlier. Let's continue to be stupid. You mean like the, the stock market? Nah, that's not what I mean. Why the hell would you think that? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I do stocks too, but... Oh, okay. You? A, a stockbroker? Yeah, got a problem with that? I think that's your favorite line. No, you just... You, you don't look like the type. Man, that stuff's just like gambling, you know? All you gotta do is bet on the winning horse. Oh. Nothing that hard about it. You sure sound pretty confident. Okay, so hear me out. We're inviting this guy to the next map tonight. So, uh, are you betting on winning horses? Of course I am. You remember a couple of years back when the stock for Cradle Pharmaceuticals shot through the roof? Uh, what? Stacked a few bills over that, if I do say so myself. Uh huh. So you're filthy rich. Did you fund this? Hey, how long are you gonna stand around wasting time? God damn it. Stop screwing around. The lady has spoken. <sighs> we better get back to work before we really piss her off. I don't want her beating me up. Hey, wait! We, we weren't done! I wanna hear more about money! <sighs> okay, okay, I'll get back to work. Damn it. Right, right, well. We have these glaringly obvious pieces. Uh, no, I thought I was supposed to stare at it blankly for the next three hours. Well, guess what I have in my back pocket right now. Wait, I only have two, don't I? Fuck. Yep. Oh, the curtain. Okay. really wasn't even trying, were they? If they were really dedicated, they wouldn't get caught. It's really stupid being me dumb. Yeah, thanks. Uh, 
I was not speculating one way or another, Santa, but thank you. Are we really having this conversation right now? It's it. What? <laughs> Thanks, Lotus. Does that do anything? No. What the fuck? Uh. Okay. So this square. Two vertical green lines. Fifth from the top, third from the right. Okay. Fifth from the top, third from the right, it's this one. Wait. There's no hole anymore, Junpei. I wonder if it's the other shower. I mean, you just did! Yeah, maybe not. For all I know, she'd be into it too. I mean, you're not wrong. Give the girls some agency. June. Good boy. What's that again? Five, three. Yep, it's this one. The same on both sides. Aha! How did we not notice that before? Eh. Cute. Still has the lines in the back. Ooh. Wait, now I have four, though. I thought I only needed three. Uh oh. Dan, you're still here. Okay. Oh, you're right. I was probably getting trolled by the one in this corner. Just ignore me. Actually, one thing before we move on. No? Nope, we can't close the curtain from that side on this one. Yeah, that is weird. Admittedly, if you do a lot of back and forth because you don't know what you're doing, that would get really old really fast, but... Not saying I've done that in this game a few hundred times. Not for this puzzle, necessarily, but... Uh... 
Oh, fuck me. Okay. It does have to match up. And I can switch them. Well, none of that works. That works. That looks right. No. Something's still off. Actually, this doesn't match up at all. Switch. There we go. Ha! At least it's not a sliding tile puzzle. If we ever get stuck with that, I'm gonna need your help because I cannot do those things to save my life. I have tried for the better part of 30 plus years and I'm still hideous at them. I mean, anyone's gotta be better at it than me, my process of elimination. Whoa. Okay. There's the hidden safe. Thank you, Corporal Obvious. Ah, the man key. Perfect. You got it! So I don't have to stick my- never mind. What's the deal with this picture anyway? Uh-uh. I... I think I've seen this picture before. What? Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. Uh-oh. Okay. We're getting some real-world shit again. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. Excuse me? With this, just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. <laughs> Santa is all of us. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Okay. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. That's not helping. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Hey, even I'm not a kid from the 70s, alright? Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. Which is why I'm bringing it up right now. But even so, I... Um... <laughs> anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, 
what do you think this picture looks like? Oh, okay. We've been training for this. What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. Lord doth possess too much. Yes. What that. about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... Uh, I don't see any of those options. What the fuck is a Fudio Rinpa? I'm probably mispronouncing that, but I'm trying to read the Japanese syllables in it. Okay. Uh, I... I gotta go with it just because I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, 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 f uh Funyarimpa. Okay, it is Funyarimpa. See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. And here, and here. You're not describing it, Jinpei. What the hell is a Funyarimpa? <laughs> you don't know either? What, what do you mean? What the hell is a Funya Rimpa? <laughs> you mean, you, you don't know? Uh, let's go downhill quickly. How the hell would I know? How could you not know? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, whew, that's practically blasphemous. Uh, uh, if you start Googling things, I recommend doing it in an incognito window given this game. Oh! <gasps> Oh, say you're sorry! Apologize to the Funyarimpa! Goodness, you are such a rude woman. <laughs> what the fuck, Jinpei? <laughs> that was some top tier voice acting there. Jinpei, are you just screwing around? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Forget it. I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. Oh. So, not food your info. See? Like this. Oh. I saw it for a sec. Okay. So? Yeah. Of course. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. Okay. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. This isn't like the dress again, is it? These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. Okay. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. Okay. To Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, Roughly a thousand people. Okay. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? So, like what we just did. The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Oh, it's a lady? Okay, I didn't see that either. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Okay. Well, I feel better about myself now. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. Okay. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. Zero, apparently. Or one. Junpei, whatever the fuck my last name is. 
after the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. Okay. Reasonable. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. Okay, okay. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. Okay. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Okay, that's an improvement. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change, statistically. Right. Given error, error margins, that's basically nothing. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. Uh, not huge, but... So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. Uh, they lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Interesting. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Ordinarily, I just blame, like, shifting culture, but... Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field? Or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? <laughs> A field not visible to the eye. Telepathy. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Whoa. Hmm. I wish that worked. We don't be geniuses. Huh. Maybe not, based on who wants to be a millionaire results. Hmm. Hmm. I'll wait for you guys to finish moving. Okay, we're good. Psych! Damn it. Maybe we would all just see dogs. <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. I mean, there are certain things that humans are more inclined to see, too, I feel like, so that would bias it. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. That too. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station after all. Truth. <laughs> right! <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. Did you I, uh, really thought you were serious. Worried about what we're going to find in there? <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> and, uh, you're getting saucer by the minute, my dude. <laughs> all right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Word. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. I'm sure that will come back and be important. Okay. So I assume this is going to be the door key. Yeah, you're gonna give it June. All right. Wait. 
We did it! <laughs> ah, you are still alive. Genuinely surprised. First ah, another hallway. First legitimate room survived. Let's go find out what happens next. Come on, open! It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. <laughs> Truth. Damn it! Look over here! Elevators. And the buttons? You mean the inverted triangles? Of course they don't work. The power must be out here too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Okay. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Hmm. Yeah. Sure does. So by picking door four, we're getting forced into our next room, it looks like. Well then, let's open it. I don't know if that would be the case if we went through five. All right, here I go. Oh, so it's a kitchen. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff that happens in this room. It's cool. You'll see. At least I don't have to read this. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit? I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Fair warning, folks, we are not getting through this puzzle tonight, because some of this is ugly. Hmm. No good. <laughs> the voice lines didn't match up there. Weird. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Hey! What's that? A surprise map? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a little while ago. It's a map of the B-Deck. Let me see that. Hey! I knew it. See? Look. Yes, yes, hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. See? We came in here. Now if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. Um, okay. I don't actually see anything marked on this map. Ah, uh, How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. There we go. Here. You can have it back. Thanks. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? Uh-huh. That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Seek a way out. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, welcome to the kitchen. Yes, significantly less preamble this time. 
Because all we did was walk across the hallway in the end. This one's going to be a little more complex than our last one. Unless we need to sort anything, or drain anything, or flatten anything. Ooh. I thought you said you didn't want to get beaten up before. Caught in the crossfire. What's this? Okay. That's great. Sure. You guys know the answer. Okay. <laughs> Jinpei has never had a fancy dinner in his life. Okay. Seriously? Please don't. I don't think you can handle it. Also that. Come on, my dude. <laughs> You're not terribly subtle. Yeah, but how many of them are there? It's not gonna bother telling me. I thought there was a pattern here, but... What did that say again? Oh, it's calling it out. Okay. There's a 9, dish 10. I mean, we don't know. What's A? What's F? That's what I thought I remembered. This was the game that first taught me what the fuck hexadecimal was. It's me! Right. I'm like, decimal, it doesn't go to ten. I mean, not until much later.
right. Okay. So that A we saw before is 10. That F we saw before is 15. And actual 10 equals 16. Crystal clear. The real question is what benefit those types of numbering systems have. I'm sure they must exist, but I am not the person to ask. I'm guessing it involves coding. Good way of putting it, I think I get it. So right. <laughs> that is nuts. Okay, so it does all add up now. 9 is 9, even in hexadecimal and decimal. But not in other counting for forms, I'm sure. Yes. One of the things that keeps this game interesting, even when there's a lot of dialogue. If you don't get moving. Can you even get water? There were no water in the bathroom, so... Uh -uh. Okay, then why bother putting it there? Oh god. I'm gonna walk away from this for just a hot second. I think something happens when I do that, and I don't want to do it without searching the rest of the room first. Ahem. Really? What gave you that idea? Oh, yeah! This is absolutely what we need right now. On the one hand, we'll be armed. On the other hand, fuck, we have a freaking butcher's knife. A rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Okay. Futile? You know... A waste, useless, pointless. I mean, it probably has a fine point, it's just rusted, though. Oh. Um, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. <laughs> I think that fever's back. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. Uh-oh. Back to this. Yep. non sequitur is basically the entire point the of this Titanic? game. The Titanic? In addition to the actually quite good plot once you get into it. 
Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? I mean, we kind of touched on that last time, yeah. Let's pretend we haven't, though, for the sake of hearing the story. No, I, I haven't. What is it? In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. Oh, right, this. It was called Futility. Uh, so you're thinking about that futility. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and sinking. Okay, sounds pretty familiar. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. What the fuck? It was almost as if he'd seen the whole thing happen. I'd like to put time travel back on the table. But this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Uh... Hmm. But that's not all. It wasn't just futility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. This is the only one I'd actually heard of before playing this game. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but... I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Reasonable. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But, what if Stead had some sort of special powers? Like time travel? To be more specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you... Are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? Eh, that happens to me all the time. Don't worry about it. Yes. Of course. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. Oh, look at Mr. Skeptic suddenly. Mr. That's the real Titanic? Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? Good question. That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. Oh, okay. He was doing the possessing. Eh. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. Uh. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes. Why didn't you lead with that? 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Uh-oh.
Jinpei's out of snark. Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. But I really wanted to have this conversation in the middle of a pantry on a weird boat that's probably going to kill us in a couple hours. Also, here's have this rusty knife. That's fun. With her, it might be. Or do we need to talk? Not even human flesh. What? That was a lot of talking about a knife. Yeah, you're gonna that. Cheese. I'm glad it says cheese, because I wouldn't have known. What? Why are we talking to the cheese? Junpei? Your sense of humor is getting a little... Eh, never mind. Okay. Bottle of oil. Okay. Let's hope this is olive oil. Looks like pre-bottle uh, pre matcha. Sounds good right now. Ooh. How do you know? Wow. Well, I won't store, uh, starve to death on the ship. Apparently we can be plenty thirsty, just not hungry. Yeah, good idea. Is so big. Unless we need wet plates for something. Yeah. Hey! Hmm. Maybe I can probably figure out what to do with that, but for now. Using a pressure cooker on a ship isn't a big risk. Thank you! I don't have to fear the dead. It's a living I'm concerned about. Why so serious? Really? Uh, let's wait. I made it go that way anyway. Tell you what, since we're closing in on time, I'll finish exploring this room and getting all the information, and then if we either hit a story segment or we look at everything that we haven't done anything with, then I'll go ahead and stop for the night. I don't want to run super late again.
Reasonable. Unfortunately, we don't know a number to enter, so no. Alright, let's check out this thing now. Wait. That was over here. There we go. Wait. Uh, is this working? is working. I'm sure that's fine. Right. Nope, not a hazard at all. Starting a bigger fire. Rude. Call Zero's bluff. Set the entire ship on fire. Alright. So this is just the exit, right? I looked at everything it's possible to look at. Because I know what's going to happen when I open this door, and that's going to be some stuff to itself, which means I don't want to do that when we're coming close to the end of the stream. So, actually, this might be a good place to go ahead and call it. We can at least fix the knife. I don't think there's any story involved in that. I found the knives. Sorry. <laughs> that is basically this game in a nutshell, yes. <laughs> you have to really like crazy conspiracy theories for this game. Similar to the secret world, but that way. <laughs> Uh -huh. Thanks, Dent. I was wondering that. Soft with that. Very. All right. Good. Nice save. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, colder right up next to the grill. All right. In the absence of, uh, triggering the next section, I think this is a good place to stop. At least we got to see some actual puzzles this time. I'm so happy. I mean, I don't mind the story, because it connects really well, and it's actually really interesting if you don't mind all the, like, crazy asides. 
I guarantee you there's a reason it's trying to teach us all this stuff, but... We'll have to wait and see what that actually is. In the meantime, the puzzles are pretty fun. I do kind of miss the, like, private coziness of just curling up with a Nintendo DS and doing this in private sometimes, but... This is fun, too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a visual novel with minigames. If you want action, this is not the game for you. It's like reading a thriller novel. A thriller novel that expects you to understand hexadecimal to complete the room. Well, hopefully else, everybody else had a good time. Uh, we will have to get back to this at some point. Tomorrow's Phasmo Day, so probably not tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what my plans are for the weekend. It's possible we could continue with this, and it's possible I might try something else, but we'll have to see. I was hoping to get some more Secret World in, honestly, but so many good games, so little time. I can't stream every night. I'll give it some thought. I definitely want to get this to some of the more interesting bits, so... I know this is a longie, so... The more progress we can make, the better. Once we get through one playthrough and see how this is meant to go, I think the... Uh, the playthroughs after that and the true ending will be much faster to handle. Anyway, um, for tonight, I hope everyone has a good night. I hope the air quality improves, because if it doesn't, I'm liable to not be around to find out what happens next weekend. But for now, good night, good luck, and have fun. Good luck breathing. And look out for the Funurian Puh. You never know when it might show up. It might be behind you, right? Wow.